Greetings from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Friday, February 23, 2018. Oh, it's been a long three weeks. That ended with a long, long, long Friday. But this is a sweet, sweet milestone. Susan, the 1940, 16 foot, Lyman Custom Yacht Tender is now ready for prime time, at least on the inside. And at least below the gunnels and the dashboard and blah 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 that still await us. But several of you, particularly the membership of the New England Lyman Group, had the uh, really creative thought that we could probably deal with the color differential between the cypress planking and the cedar planking by using second Cetol. Right you were and right you are because as you can see the final result is just spectacular. Uh, We've applied three coats of Sikkim Cetal Marine down to the floor level. We did not apply, as we typically do when we're using the Cetal, uh, a couple of coats of the Sikkim Cetal Marine Gloss because what we're after on the inside of the top sides, and I hope you agree, is a just a wonderful honey color, very warm, and a satin finish, and we're there. And I think that the distinction between the mahogany and the cypress, well, it's still there. I mean, the mahogany's darker. There's no question about it. But the differential has shrunk dramatically. We've applied. San Paco, Santan bilge paint from the level of the floor. There's a there's a a rail that will run. I think you can see this hole right on the edge of where the you can see the bilge paint. That rail runs right along and then finally hits the bilge stringer right at the forward end of the build springer, stringer, excuse me, and supports the floor panels. So, she is cleaner than clean, fully painted. We still have uh, a task left in the bilge. Uh, RJ and I agreed that we would apply one really generous coat of bilge paint now and then once we have her flipped and we've done everything else we've got to do to her uh, and, and have stomped all over the builds in the process, uh, we will go through, clean it one more time, and apply a final coat to the builds. But I'm, I'm really pleased with the results. I'll have to admit that what I'm most pleased about is that it's Friday evening, well past dinner time, but that's okay. Be oh, sorry. Friday evening, well past dinner time, with my lighting. What I'm really pleased about is that it's. Friday evening, well past dinner time, but that glass of Zinfandel is waiting for me and I can't wait to get there because I don't have to get under this hull again. Uh, we will install the floor rail and the mid top side rail that runs right at right at this level 
before we flip her again and we will put some cross bracing on before we turn her on her side but other than that uh, we have a Lyman that is really at least on the inside almost ready to float one other item on our punch list will be to do a final sanding and sealing and probably applying a, a coat or two of second CETOL to the underside surface of the foredeck. Uh, we don't want to do that now because particularly the uh, CPES as runny and watery as it tends to be will run right through the seams and penetrate the exterior surface of the foredeck uh, which would uh, not make any of us happy but from the uh, rub rail to the keel it's pretty hard to call this a v-berth in a boat this small almost ready to float so that's where we are on the 1940 16 foot Lyman Yacht Tender on February 23rd, 2018. Thank you so much, and bye-bye for now from Snake Mountain Boat Works.